Foot like Danny Min here and welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Right, Barrett died. Unfortunately, we beat the hunter. We stored the artifacts on the ship and we need to talk to Samko. What the hell? Oh my god. In Crix's legacy, I thought for sure you were gonna turn it over to Sis Death. Instead, delivering an insane fortune to the Crimson Fleet? Why'd you help them? Uh, being in the Crimson Fleet's good graces will help us out down the line. Really? And that's worth it to you? Sure is. With all those damn credits, the fleet is going to be a literal plague for years. Hell, decades. Anyone that travels space is going to be in danger. That includes people like Sarah, Barrett... Barrett's and, dead. You know, <laughs> Did you even think about that? Our overall mission is more important than dealing with piracy. The Crimson Fleet isn't as bad as everyone says. Uh, I mean, really being forced to know them? Maybe. But they are plenty bad enough. I've done things I'm not proud of, but I've never, never done anything like this. Till now. I, I just can't stand to look at you right now. I let you live, dude. Right. Missions. Let's have a look. Uh, Alright, activities, nothing activities, pick up Barrett's stuff, we're dead. A light in the darkness. I'm gonna go and do that. Apparently it's hot news, but it gets it off the list, and then we'll go and see Vladimir, and then we'll go and talk to this... Pi Seer dude, or whatever the hell his name is. Alright, I have to run because I can't fast travel anywhere because I'm permanently over encumbered. But I have my personal atmosphere so I can sprint for eternity. Excuse me, people. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't have to do that anymore because I can just do this. We. Are the signs still up for the city? No. The city's returned back to normal. Alright. Alright, so I need to go and talk to News Lady. Then we need to head to the spaceport. Luckily, though, there is a NAT station right outside the News building, so that's good. Hello there, Terrabrew. I discovered you Atlantis, West End. Which I'm pretty sure I've discovered before. I hope I'm What's up, lady whose name I forget? I Nadia! My source is back. Here to report anything else? I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. She was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? Stealing the thing. I was making a delivery. Wrong place, wrong time. It's not really relevant, well, then, but I was continue, there. Continue, Mr. Not Really Relevant. Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. Yeah, and he's a coward as well. Petrov was a hoarder and liked to collect anything strange or unusual. I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen, but everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Uh oh. Beats me. I got out of there as quick as I could. A giant golden statue of a giraffe. It was an unusual artifact dug up in some planet. Artifact, you say? I've been hearing whispers about those lately. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Yeah, they sure did. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. <laughs> because I let them out. Some Aurora-induced hallucination. That's 100% correct. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the newsfeed for it later. 
And here's your payment. Glad I could help. Into my office. I had no idea you would be at the center of so much. And I get the feeling you're not sharing everything. I doubt you'd believe anything I've seen and done. I might surprise you, but I understand. I talked with the editor, and he authorized a special bonus for someone who's worked with us so long. And maybe one day, years from now, you can fill me in on the stories you didn't want broadcast. Take care, Constellation. All right. I think we might actually be done with the light in the darkness stories. Mission updated. Unity. Actually, I need to go and talk to Vladimir first. Talk to the Keeper. Yeah, but he's not on this planet, is he? Maybe he is. Oh, okay. He's on New Atlantis. He's over here. Ah, uh, there is a Varun temple. Or church or something over here. I guess he's in there. Infinity LTD. Still nothing happening there. Let's uh, power up. Let's take a trek through the jungle. What's fine, this guy was totally on New Atlantis. He didn't even have to go anywhere for this. Ah, okay. Right. I may have to persuade this dude, so I'm going to take a Hippolyta, which is down here in H. Hello there, Keeper. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? We need to talk about unity. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's... Not exactly. No, what we uh, mean. definitely not what we mean. When you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Uh oh. Enter the Sanctum Universum. All right, come on, people. Time is money. Why is Samco still following me? Take a seat. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? Why are you wearing gloves? We start with the discovery of these anomalies, artifacts. We were attacked by a group called Starborn. We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? Yeah. There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. We know it's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering his meaning. Oh, no. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. I have to go at every system? Let's hear the story then. There must be more to it. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. 
Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? I don't know what I'm Very specific. Sounds like the House of Enlightenment and Varun have other parts then. Hmm. Yes. Something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Fine, I'll talk to them. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. All right, you. Here, this is for you. What the hell? Oh, thanks. Well, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. You don't have to do that for me. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Check in with me now and again and I might find more. Uh, you give me right. I'm up for a little adventure. Oh well, if you have to, come back soon now. My light wore off, but I didn't need it. Okay, so we need to go to the well, and then we need to talk to the prisoner, which I should be able to do because I am basically UC sec. One is over that way; the other one is over here. Now we're in the water. That's bad. <laughs> All right. Thank God I have my. Personal atmosphere. And there's a gnat station right here as well, which is nice. Right, down we go. I think I've talked to this person before and I had to help him with a guy who had a medical issue. Uh, this place was a total bloodbath the last time we were in here. Yeah, he's down here to the right. He's in here. Hello there, friend. We've met before. That's if no problem. It's about the financial or food assistance programs. We are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Yes, I need information. Keep her calls at me. I need to talk about the pilgrim. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Let's hear it. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The Drifter asked them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really and the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Maybe there's a message hidden in what you're saying. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. 
Thank you. You give me a lot to think about. To help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. No problem, dude. I need to talk to the Varun lady. I'm stuck. It says I can go up this way. Ah, there's an elevator here. Sweet. Uh, spaceport. Wait, where is she? Ah, she's maybe at the... Security building. Uh, and Sergeant Yumi's in here. He's our friend. What's up, Yumi? Need to talk to uh, prisoner. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for more. Good timing. We just got word of a disturbance over by the Nut in the Embassy District. The Vandal, it seems. Ah, he's got I more missions for me. An officer to the site, but they probably could use some support. Talk to the officer, get an update, and interview any witnesses involved. I'll speak to the officer. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't waste your time with this captain, but a functionary over at Mass reported the crime. You'll be thrilled to know that a captain of the Vanguard is on the case. All right. Who's the officer on site? That would be Officer Noita Marken. She's one of the recruits that joined up shortly after you started. A lot of newer officers look up to you. I bet you'll get a kick out of working this case with me. Cool. See you later. See you later, dude. This is great. I can just walk through here. Because I'm already a security member. Hello, lady. Talk to me. A visitor? I have all the company I need. I know you've talked to Keeper Calls about the Vroon Thee. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That's that kind of creepy. Is the truth. No more. Cool name, though, no Mirza. Keeper of Qual spoke of a pilgrim. A cosmic serpent seems like a poor answer to the universe's problems. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper. About this. He's not my keeper. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the great serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down, but the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the great serpent is testing him. And he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Hmm. Then we are done. Leave me. See you later. Uh, how do I? Uh, we go. See you later, Sarge. Thanks for the mission. There's just a random person standing in the corner there. <laughs> Fact. I'm gonna go to the Nat station and speak to the officer. Which I can't do yet. Uh, yeah, go to the commercial district. We'll help this lady with the vandal. Ah, she's here. No. Where is she? Wait, she's over at the Nat station over there? And why the hell did you take me to here? 
Okay, hold on. That's kind of weird. Talk to Samku. Return to keep her calls. No, 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 no. I want to help Sarge. Two tails, two says. Okay, hold on. Hold on, where am I going? Which one is... Let's talk to the keeper. Ah, it's the gnat station downstairs. Right, screw it. Power up. We're going for a swim. I guess this isn't strange at all. There we go. Right, so she's downstairs. Officer, whose name I forget. Oh, there is a bit of vandalism there. Tip off, Sir Markinen. Move, robot. And you're certain that's what you saw? Oh yeah, he was wearing a flannel shirt underneath a trucker jacket. Mm -hmm. Doesn't match the description of the functionary. You said he was running the train. That's right. Oh, and he was carrying a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Okay, just hold that thought one moment, sir. I need to speak with the captain. Sure. What's this robot doing? It's in imminent danger of being shot. Sir, just give me a moment with the captain, please. I mean, I think it was that guy. Captain, I realize your time is limited. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Thanks, Captain. To be honest, I'm a little starstruck. I'll do my best to keep things professional. Cool. This was supposed to be a simple case. We got an attempted vandalism, a knocked over bin, and a witness who called in to ID the suspect. We were about to head down to the well to apprehend the guy when this new witness comes forward with additional info. Just one problem. His story conflicts with the functionaries. You spoke with the functionary? Yes, sir. I was the one who took the call and reported it to Sergeant Yumi. Normally, we don't give this much weight to tipsters, but when it's a masked official, we tend to take them at their word. All right, then. Tell me what you need from me. Well, we got two witnesses of conflicting stories, so I'd like to go interview Functionary Gershon in person. Their office is at Mass, in the Interstellar Affairs Department. Okay, let's go talk with them. Does the higher-ranking officer, I'll let you take the lead, Captain. I bet you will. Right, let's head to the lift. Come on, officer. Cabinet chill, chill. Right, interstellar affairs. I think I've met this person before. Uh, I might need to persuade them. So I'm going to take uh, the old Hippolytus. Alright, hold on. Where are we going? Am I interstellar affairs? Ah, they're around here. Oi, you. Ah, Captain. Can I just say, it's a pleasure to meet the hero who stopped the Terramorph invasion. Officer Markanin, was it? I see you're here as well. Is there something the matter? We just need to go over your testimony again. I apologize, but I can't right now. I have an important meeting I need to attend. But I'd be happy to stop by UC security later and speak with your sergeant. You're staying here. And you'll answer my questions. Yes, I'd be happy to do so later, but now is the night. So unless you're arresting me, I must be. Besides, I'm not the most eloquent of functionaries. I prefer the written word, which you're more than welcome to read. I encourage it was this guy that did it. The information on my personal computer. I have written a detailed description of the vandal, Wantahir Vala, a known criminal who resides in the well. It was this guy. Everything you need to apprehend the thief. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. Check the computer. Yeah, but this is going to be lies. Want this testimony? Speak to Officer Markinen. Mind you, when I saw the vandal, terror and try and blah blah blah. Close, perhaps that was my mistake. Deal description in time. Eyes brown. Occupation cargo hauler. The well. Crime in the well. Alright. Thief near the tram. I think he's trying to. Uh, our thief has a name. Well, I've taken it upon my. Uh, ah, okay. I see what he's done. And we've got a tale of two cities. So he's the guy with the book. Uh, I think this guy totally did it. Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? No. The functionary's right. No. No, it's someone else. You sure, Captain? I get we got conflicting testimonies, but the witness at the tram wasn't exactly reliable. Yeah, but it's not the kid. Then who? Uh, functionary Garshon. What? Really? Do you have proof? I've got proof. No, I just decided to. Uh, it's not conclusive, but I got enough to corner him. Where would I find more evidence? The terminal doesn't have what you need. Try checking around his desk. Maybe even go through his trash. Why? Do you not have enough proof as is? I've got proof. Okay, Captain. I trust your instincts above all. And if the functionary's the perp, that means he not only committed the crime, but tried to frame the kid. Because the kid stole his Captain, wallet. That really, really pisses me off. The functionary said he was going to chat with Sergeant Yumi, right? Let's head back to UC security. And see if we can't give him what he deserves. Hold on, I need to check his trash. A tale of two cities. And there's the book. Hey. Space trucker flannel. And I can't take that. Yeah, so it was definitely him. Right, let's head back to UC security. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes there, functionary Garshon. Obviously he was pissed because the kid stole his wallet and now he's trying to frame somebody in the well so that UC Sick goes into the well and arrests them. Why would you take a book with you? That's stupid. Let's go, Markinen. We've got, oh, Jesus, we've got a long way. I also need to talk to the bloody dude again. Hello there, person that thinks they're important. Yeah, but it's all lies, Yumi. Oh, Don't believe him. Functionary Gershon was just giving me his full statement. It's mostly repeating the documentation on my computer. I trust that was sufficient enough to make an arrest? No, because we told you it was, and we're arresting you, Functionary. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Captain. I witnessed the crime. Yeah, because you did it. Functionary Gershon, you're under arrest for vandalizing the tram and an attempted frame up. Depending on what you told the sergeant, we can probably add false testimony to the list. Hold on. First off, these are very serious accusations, Captain. Are you sure you want to go down this road? Yes. More importantly, do you have any proof? Yes. Evidence. Interesting. Not exactly the uniform of a functionary, is it? Evidence. Now, that is pretty damning. Old Earth books are very hard to come by. The odds of this witness naming that exact book and the functionary owning... Wait, was there a third thing? A I never checked this. Oh. Is the perp. Oh, Captain, take my word for it. 
This is an odd that Feng is so involved with the case to begin with. I'm the captain, dude. Well, you were right about the terramorphs. Thankfully, the stakes are lower. Yeah? They sure are. Well, I've heard all I needed to hear. Functionary, do you have anything to say for yourself? If you think I'm going to let you bring up these trumped up charges. That's enough. Officer Markinen, please escort the functionary to the holding area. I will not take this accusation lying down. Of that I can assure you. Can we just shoot him now? Can't do this. Your proof is circumstantial at best. Don't worry, functionary. We're not putting you in jail quite yet. Unlike some people, we respect the rule of law. You tell him, Sarge. I'm hearing from my lawyer, Sergeant. Expect to be demoted to death duty by week pay. He's already on death duty. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? What's up, Sarge? Now that was a shock. Next time, give me some warning before telling me my star witness is the one who committed the crime. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you already knew. Just trying to keep you on your toes, Sergeant. Between you and the Terramoths, it's never a dull day around here, Captain. Anyway, good work on this case. Functionary Gershon may talk up, but I know his type. It won't take long for him to crack. And hopefully, that means the end of his obsession with the well. And, uh, speaking of endings, I was going to mention this earlier, but I didn't want things to turn all sentimental in the middle of your investigation. All the new recruits as of late, our staffing problems are no longer an issue. Which means we've exhausted our need for a part time security officer. It was a privilege to work with you, Sarge. Likewise, Captain. We have your position filled, but not your shoes. On behalf of the entire UC security department, I wish you the best of luck with the Vanguard and your future missions. And uh, if you ever need to talk or. Reminisce about the beat. I'll be here. I like Sarge. He's cool. He's a good dude. Alright, let's uh, go talk to the, the visionary dude, or whatever the hell his name is. Alright, so I, I'm actually glad that we wrapped up the UC security missions. I thought they were all done, but evidently not. Alright, off we go. On the tram again. Ah, the old nut. Restores O2 back to full. Full usage. Oh my god, this building is so bloody far away. The Universum Sanctum? They need to build a closer one. Right, screw it. Use this. Let's go. And... Ching! Yeah, so the, the people we talked to were sort of less than helpful. I'm back, dude. What did you do with Mateo? Is he dead? You're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought? I don't know. The enlightened... The enlightening story used the word second and two. I spoke to the Vroon Zealots. He said Jinian fought four times over 120 days. In your story, the pilgrim contemplates infinite addendum. That must mean something. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What, 120? What anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? 
infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Indum, that's the name of a star system. I think I have everything I need. Next planet I find, I'm naming Dum Dum. What do you think? Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation oh, would God. you give it? There's something secret out there, bringing everything together. Only total conviction will bring us the truth. We are being tested. Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? Yes, gravity is a miracle, just like life itself. No, that's just a natural force. Unity is something greater. It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So, you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Will do, go to Indum 2, right, we're on it. And we've got a long run ahead of us. To get back to the NAT station and then get to the spaceport. Damn it. Use a power bar. Let's go. Keep running. Spaceport, please. To the ship. Huzzah. Right. Oh, the spaceport has returned to normal. <coughs> but there's not many people here. Oh, there's a few people. I suppose it is night time. God damn it. I thought I could make it all the way there without using that, but they hope. Alright. Hello there, Lynn. How's it going? Thanks, friends. Right, let's go. Let's take off, and then we need to go to the Indum system. I don't think I've been here before. I just hope that I can jump to that system. It's not like out of range or something stupid. Is that is sometimes a thing that happens? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Jump. Oh, yeah. It's not that far. Ooh, what the hell's going on here? Somebody was getting shot at there. Ah, Starborn. Well, they did say Starborn attacks were going to go up. I can beat you, Starborn Guardian 3. You're dead. Now 
No, 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 no. Don't. <sighs> okay, so the Starborn Guardian 3 can go invisible. Thanks for totally crashing into me there. No, oh, he's literally got like one health left. And he's dead. 204 XP for destroying that though, that's pretty decent. I need to land scanner anomaly, ooh. Pilgrim's Rest and a scanner anomaly. Acquired the power, there's a power here. Well, I'll, I'll acquire the power first. And then we'll go and get the thing. This looks like a nice place. I, I think there's going to be things to shoot here. an EXP. I can't see the temple. I know there's a temple here. I just can't see it. 600 meters, that's very far away. Is there one closer? There's sort of a lot of stuff going on here. Benzene. A plant. Other plant. Other plant. <gasps> Something to shoot! I'm excited. Come back. Oh, these things look terrifying. Ah. It killed the toad face grazer. Can't go around killing things there. I can. Come on. Jump. Jump. There we go. Er really? Go on. Go on. Oh. I do that. Where's the thing? This way. I was about to say, I can't jetpack very far here because the gravity on this planet is pretty brutal. There you go. There's the anomaly. Scan the thing. I think we need to go this way to find the temple. Well, I'm just gonna scan things as we go along. Toad face grazer. Sorry, dude. Needed the XP from you there. Come on, jump. Now, where the hell am I going? Water. Is it this way? It's actually this way. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. It's 
Something killed. Oh, you did. And you're dead. I don't know where this thing is. I'm totally gonna find it though. This way? Have I not got all the resources for this planet? totally died. That was stupid. Right, it's taking me back to the ship. That's a hundred percent scan, it's another twenty XP. That's them all scanned up. this thing. The scanner anomaly seems to have calmed down. It's just a scanner anomaly though. Right, it's definitely over this way. Now, the thing is, the temples are quite large. And I can't see it. I see it. It's over this way. There it is. All right, well, sweet. Structure. Nice. Alright. What we'll do is we'll leave it there for that episode. And the next episode we'll we'll get the power from this temple. And then we'll go to the pilgrim's resting place. Oh, is there something here? Oh these things. Well these things seem very unhostile, so I'm just gonna scan them. There's no point killing them, probably won't get any XP from them. Alright, there's the temple. Right, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men, this has been Starfield, and I will catch you later.